Continuing with the letting the brush do the work theme, um, there's a tree here. I'm going to show you how to use um, a chisel brush. This is a number 10 chisel and that's what we would call in England a silver birch tree. Okay, um, there's one I made earlier as they say and I'm going to show you how I went about it. So I've mixed a dark, um, almost, almost black, not quite, it's raw umber and Payne's grey. Okay, silver birches they have peeling bark uh, in America you've got maples, um, there'll, there'll be similar similar trees and uh, barks but this is the, the idea of showing you how to use this brush this way. Um, I will zoom in a little bit and try and remember to zoom back out again so you can see it all. So we're going to start off with just literally, let's assume this is going into the, the ground here and we're, we're just coming up and see how I am literally just using the edge of the brush to make the marks, just the tip, the fine chisel bit. Okay, and up we go. And you don't, the last thing you want to do is go in a nice little pattern, okay? Vary it and twist just slightly because where the bark comes off, there's usually a little knot. So it tends to come on in, off in shards. Anyway, you know what I mean. If you go and have a look at one, you've probably seen something similar. So I'm just gradually working my way up the tree, as it were. Let us assume now that we're branching off, literally. Uh, you can't see that, so I've pulled it down a bit. Okay. Now, as I say a lot with um, painting, the brain doesn't need all the, I'm sorry about that bang, the brain doesn't need all the information. Uh, it will look at something and go through its filing cabinet and come out with an idea. So you probably don't actually need to paint that side of the tree trunk because if you've got a background going on, then that's gonna, gonna help you create the idea of a tree but this is just to show you how to do this bark okay so see how I'm doing this sort of this sort of business okay that sort of business and of course you could use a wider brush if you wanted to it's entirely up to you so there we've got a bit of a split going on there and then we'll have I think we'll have a little bit of a a branch coming down here okay to that okay and I'm just gonna put the odd bit of marks down there so at times I'm literally just doing that flatten the brush out look get an even finer line so it really is a question of letting the brush do the work for you. So we can have a few little sort of little bit of uh, twiggy bits, a bit of twiggy bits coming out there. Why not? So we'll continue up there. That's where it's getting a bit, oops, wrong way. Continuing and then maybe a little bit of a split there as well. So there you go, there is an idea for doing a tree trunk and you want to, you can just add a little bit more information there. So silver birch or whatever you want to call it, depends what colours you use, but there again you're using the brush. This chisel can be used flat like that that way, can do like that, make lines, do it that way, can do all sorts of things. So another example of letting the brush work for you. I hope you enjoyed that and have fun with that one.